10 Interesting Facts About Deepest Oceans and Trenches Bioluminescent Bonanza Get ready for a rave, underwater style. Down in the deep ocean trenches, where sunlight is basically non-existent, many creatures use bioluminescence to create their own light. They're like living, breathing glow sticks. This amazing ability helps them attract prey, find mates, or even confuse predators. Imagine swimming through a dark abyss and seeing flashes of light all around you. What a sight that would be. Many of these creatures are still unknown, and it would be amazing to see the new animals we discover. Brine pools, underwater lakes of salt. Imagine stumbling upon an underwater lake inside the ocean. That's exactly what brine pools are. These pools are formed by super salty water that's much denser than the surrounding seawater. So it sits like a lake on the ocean floor. They're often found in deep trenches and they're fascinating because they create unique habitats. The high salt content makes them toxic to many creatures, but some specialized organisms like certain bacteria and shrimp have adapted to thrive in these extreme conditions. It's like an alien world within our own. Giant squid versus sperm whale, trench warfare. The deep ocean trenches are like the battlegrounds for epic showdowns between giant squid and sperm whales. These massive creatures engage in intense battles in the dark depths, leaving behind scars and suction cup marks as evidence. Sperm whales dive to incredible depths to hunt these elusive squid, holding their breath for over an hour. It's a real-life Moby Dick scenario playing out thousands of meters below the surface. Imagine witnessing that incredible underwater wrestling match. Methane seeps, bubbling mystery. Hold your breath because some deep sea trenches have methane seeps. These are areas where methane gas, a powerful greenhouse gas, bubbles up from the ocean floor. Now, it might sound like bad news for the environment, but guess what? Certain microbes actually feast on this methane, converting it into energy. And get this, these microbes form the base of unique ecosystems that can support other creatures. It's a crazy example of how life can adapt and thrive in the most unexpected places. Can you imagine seeing that at the bottom of the ocean? Ocean trenches, the Earth's recycling bins. Did you know that ocean trenches are basically the Earth's huge recycling centers? When tectonic plates collide, one often slides underneath the other in a process called subduction. Where that happens, these super deep trenches are formed. Think of it like a giant conveyor belt carrying ocean crust and sediment back into the Earth's mantle. These trenches are major drivers of geological processes. So, next time you are recycling, remember that planet Earth is doing it too. A really cool way to think about it, eh? Plastic pollution, even at the bottom of the world. Sadly, even the deepest ocean trenches aren't immune to plastic pollution. Microplastics and larger pieces of debris have been found in the guts of animals living in the Mariana Trench. It's a sobering reminder that human actions can have far-reaching consequences, even in the most remote and seemingly untouched environments. It's more important than ever to reduce our plastic consumption and find better ways to dispose of waste so we can protect these fragile ecosystems. Make sure to recycle the plastic so there's no plastic in the sea. Pressure cooker paradise. All right, buckle up, because the pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is like having 50 jumbo jets all parked on your head. Seriously, it's over 1,000 times the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level. That's why special submersibles are needed to visit this extreme spot. Imagine the best tinfoil you could find, but times it by a billion. It's so strong that without protection, you'd be instantly squashed flatter than a pancake. 
But get this, life still manages to thrive down there. How cool is that? There are creatures adapted to this immense pressure. It's their normal, and it's amazing. Sea cucumbers, the ocean's vacuum cleaners. Meet the sea cucumber, one of the most abundant animals in the deep trenches. These squishy fellas are basically the vacuum cleaners of the ocean floor, gobbling up all the decaying matter and poop they can find. They're super important for keeping the ecosystem healthy, like little underwater sanitation workers. Some species even eject their internal organs as a defense mechanism when threatened. Talk about dramatic. Plus, they're a delicacy in some cultures, though I'm not sure I'd be brave enough to try one. The Hadal Zone, a realm of the unknown. Ever heard of the Hadal Zone? It's the deepest region of the ocean, found in trenches below 6,000 meters, almost 20,000 feet. The name comes from Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, because these depths are so dark and mysterious. It's such a tough environment to explore that we know less about the Hadal Zone than we do about the surface of Mars. We are constantly learning new and cool facts and creatures from these previously untouched depths. Imagine being the person to discover the very first creature ever. Underwater Volcano Party. Picture this. A string of underwater volcanoes, known as the Kermadec Tonga Subduction Zone, lurking near the Tonga Trench. This area is a hotbed, literally, of volcanic activity. Scientists recently discovered the largest volcanic eruption ever recorded happened here, releasing energy equivalent to thousands of atomic bombs. Imagine the underwater lava shows. This crazy volcanic action actually helps create and reshape the ocean floor, constantly changing the landscape in the deep, dark abyss. It's like Earth's very own underwater construction site, but with magma 